Plans to fix the nation's crumbling roads and bridges hit a roadblock today. Jacqueline Fell from WHIO's Washington Bureau explains why America's aging infrastructure isn't likely to get a much needed facelift anytime soon. Plans to fix crumbling roads and bridges, congested highways and airports, and clogged ports and waterways are again on hold. President Donald Trump telling Democratic leaders that he won't work with them while they're investigating his presidency. I want to do infrastructure. I want to do it more than you want to do it. I'd be really good at that. That's what I do. But you know what? You can't do it under these circumstances. Democrats blasted the president for walking out of an infrastructure meeting. They say they were prepared to talk about ways to pay for a tentative $2 trillion deal. He just took a pass. And it just makes me wonder why, why he did that. I was prepared to give him a 35-page plan. Lawmakers went to the White House meeting hopeful. A top Republican on the House Transportation Committee is optimistic a deal can be done. Georgia Congressman Rob Woodall supports the idea of a user pay model in which taxpayers would pay based on how much they drive. If you want to be able to make it to your kid's soccer game uh, on time and, 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 and improve our safety record, then we're going to have to pay for those things. Ever since President Trump was elected, infrastructure was thought to be the policy both parties could embrace. But not much has been accomplished. In Washington, Jacqueline Fell, News Center 7.